It's the kind of eye contact you'd rather avoid. With just a sheet of glass between us, these dwarf caiman crocodiles at the Japanese koi company near Henlo in Bedfordshire were just a bit too interested in the camera and its operator for comfort. Steve and Erwin arrived here as babies, but today we're off to start a new life. They were just getting a little bit too big for their enclosure. Uh, we found out they were both males, um, and as soon as food was brought into the enclosure, they, they would occasionally start having a scrap. The crocodiles have been hugely popular here, but they simply have to go because they've outgrown their home. They may be one of the smaller varieties, but eventually they'll grow up to four feet long. And even now, at their current size, they're still quite a handful. <laughs> and yes, that was a rapid retreat from an unexpectedly close croc. <laughs> Pulled from the lukewarm luxury of their tank, neither reptile was in the best of moods. The pair are being taken to a crocodile sanctuary in Oxfordshire where they'll be looked after into adulthood. Obviously they're very dangerous animals, even at this size they would give you a really nasty bite and um, you do have to be very extremely careful uh, when you're dealing with them. But um, it's something that I do for a living, so it's, I'm very used to it. Sean says rarely are crocs suitable as pets. His scarred hand, the result of a recent light nip. Owners have to be licensed and in captivity the crocs can live longer than humans. Keeping one, then, is best left to the professionals. Russell Hookie, Anglia News, Henlow in Bedfordshire.